Hello, comrades. Commissar Bro here today with Somalia. That's right. Somalia is probably one of the harder countries to play as, as per usual. Actually, this Somalia is a lot worse than I thought. They're in anarchy. They're out of money. Ooh, this isn't good. We can't raise taxes, then, can we? I don't think we can. Oh, yeah, we can. Look at that. We can. $11 per capita. Oh, good gracious. Yeah, so Somalia's a little, way worse than I thought they were. Yeah, you can't raise taxes. I thought so. Um, hmm. Well, I might have bit off a bit more than I can chew now, didn't I? I didn't realize they were so bad off. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think we can change laws either in an anarchy state. Oh, it looks like we can. Well, isn't that nice? And we will permit abortion? Are people like that? Maybe? No? No, they don't like that? Okay, we will... Well, we already permitted it, so you might as well... What about polygamy? Do our people like polygamy? Yes, they do. They like polygamy. Uh, Sunni Muslims official. And Somali, the language, is the official language. Um, we are going to have to drop everything. No tourism, no research, no foreign aid, of course. We can't afford it. Uh, telecom, we might as well keep a little bit of telecom. Your government spending means nothing when you're in an anarchy. Uh, so, yeah, that's really nothing to it. Uh, resources, we have none. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my, what did I bite off? Certainly more than I can chew, it seems. All we have is armies of, you know, soldiers. Just literally just military soldiers, which is, you know, depressing to just, just have 3,000 soldiers to be, to, be, to be a country of 7 million people with only 3,000 soldiers. My, oh my. Well, what can we do? Nothing, really. We just have to wait for our approval and stability to go up, and hopefully we can revert out of an anarchy. That is about all we can do. And our approval's going back up, and our resources are slowly rising, so maybe that'll go up as well. Who knows? We need to get this inflation down, though. This is, this is just unacceptable. 100% inflation! No siree! Not, not in the least. What are diplomatic relations like? No one likes us. Of course. Of course no one cares for us. But look, we're getting richer. Our people are getting richer. What's our birth rate anyway? Holy piss, 4.1%. Okay. <laughs> we breed like rabbits in Somalia. Um, well, I mean, really... Really, a good suggestion would be, or at least what I would think to do, uh, is conquer another territory in this area. The main problem is these guys, even though they're really, you know, weak as far as we're concerned, they're just as weak. You know, they, they, I mean, Djibouti's got a little bit of money on their side that could help us in the long term, but their military is bigger than ours. <laughs> Damn Djibouti! <laughs> Getting in our way of progress. Sweet, sweet Djibouti. Don't worry, I still love you, baby. Well, we'll just kind of let this, uh, we'll let our inflation go down first. Um, because our per capita is going up. At least we're not as bad off as the Democratic Republic of Congo. They, on the other hand, are like, it's almost impossible to pull them out of the hole. The main thing with these guys is because they're in anarchy. If we can get out of anarchy, you know, we'll be fine, realistically speaking. Oh, look how corruption's going down. Isn't that nice? Yes, yes, very nice. Um, we could bring down environment and health care. You know what? Let's bring down health care. Just a tad smidgen. Okay, all the way. <laughs> no, not all the way. We need at least a little bit. See, there we go. Now we're Now we're making money. Look at us go. Somalia's making a profit! Oh, this is delicious. Very, very delicious. Yes. Alright, well, yeah. Oh, oh, we're not anymore. We lost whatever money we were making on trade, so we are not making money anymore. <laughs> well, at least our growth is, you know, reasonable, because this just went from, like, a tenth to a third 
Uh, well, yeah, pretty much a third. So our per capita is up to 119. I don't know. This doesn't seem too unmanageable. Like I said, the main thing I want to do is just get out of Anarchy, which I don't think I'll be able to do. Hmm. We can't conquer another country either because we are in Anarchy. Well, there's really not much you can do with Somalia because you are in Anarchy, unfortunately. Uh, it's sort of like the rebels who are in that perpetual state of Anarchy. I don't think Somalia is like that, though. I think that's just uh, that's just the rebels who are stuck in a perpetual state of anarchy, which is a shame because I think it would be a lot of fun to take them over and uh, conquer the world with the rebels. But hey, what are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Well, yeah, nobody really likes us. See, look, the best we've got is a thirty, and even then, they don't really care too much for us. It's a shame we can't get Belgium on the side, right? Yes, yes, it's very much a shame. All we can do is wait. Just wait till our stability gets high. I think it needs to get up to, uh, what is it, like 20%, roughly, somewhere around there, possibly. Whatever. The important thing is we can't do anything until it gets higher. What else can we do some of this excess crap we have? Get some of the, make some more money. Maybe we can bring down, I need propaganda at least a little bit higher than nothing. Because propaganda raises stability and approval rating. So we want to keep that at least a little bit. Well, corruption has gone down a couple percentages. Approval rises every day. And stability is slowly rising with it. I don't know. This is, this is not so bad. I mean, we're not making money. We can't raise taxes. We still need to bring inflation down. Bam! Look at that. I think we're making money off our resources. Let's check a look see. Yeah, look, trade. We're making a little bit of money off trade. So hopefully that'll go into the available balance and pay off some of our debt. Because if we could pay off all of our debt, we would probably have a little bit of money right there to spend. And that would be nice. That would be very nice. Incredibly nice. Hmm. Well, I mean, yeah. So, this is Somalia. <laughs> Not much I can do, really. Just kind of sitting around, you know. Staring at these menus, these nice sweet menus. We just literally, we just have to wait till it gets higher and hope we can get out of an anarchy. Because an anarchy is just not, you can't do anything in an anarchy. For those of you unfamiliar, an anarchy, you can't sign treaties. Um, like, you can't really, you know, tax your citizens. So you can't make money off taxes. You have to make money off tourism. It's just, I don't know, it seems relatively impossible to play as um, with the way they have it set up. Which I understand. It's an anarchy. That means the government has no control. There's no government at all, uh, realistically speaking. So, I mean, it's not impossible to see what they're going with by establishing that uh, particular principle. Needless to say, it's not fun. Uh, for me, anyway. I don't find it very fun at all. Um, you know, it's just... I don't know. It's it's just it. It's just not fun, I guess. <laughs> what else should I say about it? It is fun. But yeah, so basically at our current state of affairs, we just have to wait. But look, we put our interest back down to zero. Uh, that should allow for some unfettered growth. Now that we've actually got inflation down to 3.3%, inflation is going to continually drop. Um, that's for sure. You know, it's it's probably going to drop down to about 0.8 or so. But I don't think it will get any lower than that. Uh, our resources are rising. So, you know, we are making a profit. Yeah, I mean, we're not doing so bad. I mean, I'm not overly concerned with our economy as of yet. We're paying off some of our debt, which is good. Um, corruption is lowering. Stability is rising. Approvals rising. Uh, soon we'll have our approval over 50%, which is a great thing considering it's only been about a year and a half. So I'm feeling pretty optimistic here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty optimistic indeed. I mean, it's, again, Superpower 2 is one of those games that once you understand the basic concepts of the game, um, you know, it's pretty straightforward how it all works. So, yeah, I don't know. 
This one is a little bit longer of a country to get boot started because it is so far in the hole. But just like every other country in the game, it is possible to play as. Except for the rebels, but they're not a country. <laughs> well, you could play as them. Yeah, you could definitely give it a shot, but you can't do anything. You can't conquer anyone. You could take over the lands, but you can't control it, so you don't get their money. So it's it's like it's utterly pointless, really. You can't you can't become as powerful as like Russia because you're completely restricted. So yeah, that's a thing. But yeah, so I guess if you have any further tips on how to play as, um, I guess, Somalia in this case, feel free to ask. If you'd like to see another uh, video continuing the saga of uh, Somalia, again, please ask. You know, I'll definitely put it out there for those who are interested. Um, I think we're pretty much set on our economy. It's going to fluctuate a little bit while the, uh, the inflation figures out where it wants to be. Again, it's, if it keeps lowering like it is, our income will actually lower below what it needs to be. So we don't want it to get too much lower. So hopefully it will catch back up here pretty soon. But anyway, uh, this has been Commissar Bro. You know, doing Somalia. Just kind of letting time pass. Bam, look at that. Single party democracy. All right, we, it kicked back up on us. Good. So... Yeah, now I guess next time we could uh, continue how to do a single party democracy of Somalia. Because now that we're actually not an anarchy anymore, we're making more income, but our expenses are also far higher. So, yeah, 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 we'll take a look at that next time. But anyway, comrades, this has been Commissar Bro, and I will see you next time.